Okay, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message. Um, for DDG, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap in and see what the highest vibrating source wants me to share moving in love and light. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay, I am going to ask that question as well. It's just an energy to ask about. Uh, with this deck, him and Hallie. Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging in his energy field, there's a swirl of emotion. Um, and it's also just him looking at someone like, aren't you a suffering fool? Disdain, displeasure, consent, poking fun, reading between the lines. I've always said when there's one finger pointed out, several fingers are pointed back. And so the same energy that you're trying to put out about people creating energy of disdain, a suffering fool, poking around, trying to read between the lines is the same energy that's being put back on you. Okay. Spirit is also acknowledging that subconsciously this has a lot to do with the pot calling the kettle black so there's a lot of communication i do feel that he is protected um and spirit says there's a lot of hypocrisy in this energy um projection blame similarity spirit is also acknowledging introspection hindsight is 2020 um the cat is out okay that's what spirit keeps saying the cat is out the bag uh spirit is also acknowledging that he is cozying feeling really really good um just feeling grateful feeling extremely humble lots of humility is the energy that's coming off of this card it is is um, resonating with an earth sign or just could be, you know, a nonconformist to some extent, but just being super thankful about something about the earth. It feels like Mother Earth, like thank you, thank you kind of energy, okay? All right, so we're there's something else in the middle of the deck. All right, he is very oblivious right now or is pretending to be oblivious uh, with the just fall off the turnip truck. So there's something that he's trying to act very naive about, inexperienced. He's inexperienced in this energy. Um, also, he has to continue to study if he is going to get better at this energy. Um, Spirit is saying that he feels like he's... Um, a chicken with his head cut off right now as well. Just feeling very overwhelmed and busy and frenzy, stressed, chaos, refocus and redo for best results. Spirit is also acknowledging that this has something to do with Holly Weird, Hollywood. Um, this is my Holly Weird card. Um, but there's happiness in everyday magic, everyday magic, everyday magic. Also acknowledging that there's something that was a secret wish and a simple pleasure and he's caught it. He has it. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And when it comes to Holly Bailey. Thank you. Oh, that came out. Spirit is acknowledging that there's something that's putting a sour taste in his mouth about this relationship. When it comes to her, he's trying to make lemonade out of lemons. He's trying to be optimistic and persevere, see the opportunity, be creative and a genius. Spirit is also acknowledging that he feels like he's lured into her emotional abyss. If, oh, Spirit wants to say emotional sabotage with, an, with a, a, a proposal of love and a proposal of... Um, temptation intimacy adder but he's drowning in it spirit is acknowledging spirit is also acknowledging that in the middle of the deck what we're not seeing is there is a water sign not sure what her sign is but it feels like there's a water sign that this is just emotional but this is what we're not seeing that there is a soul partnership a resonance a true love mirror match a blessings and a life mate it doesn't feel like it is her it feels like there is someone else in the middle of the deck that is his true person okay let's say that all right, DDG current energy. Okay. All right, we do have rescue. Interesting, interesting. I do see water again. Um, could be emotional or could in, in, involve a water sign. I do see 16. Uh, 16 is um, a number that, that is... Um, important for him important to him resonates thank you with him and also the number seven okay so you are always safe and secure and free to be yourself asking for help isn't easy for many successful people however that's what you need to do now as you expand your life if you find yourself troubled you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now you need only ask and assistance will come your way the most important support you can expect is from spirit get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic second time we hear that to provide you with the help you need asking you shall receive there is no need to fear safety is a place within closed mouth does not get fed so there's an energy of him wanting to be rescued him wanting to be freed him needing to increase and improve his relationship with the divine in order to have that moment of freedom a 
escape and feeling rescued. All right. So what is the overall energy that DG has current energy with Halle Bailey? Thank you. Okay. Wisdom. So he does feel like he's learned a lot from her. It feels like she's teaching him something. Spirit is also acknowledging that there's forgiveness and healing in this relationship, but the heart was hurt and now it needs to be mended. There is divine feminine energy and look how she's holding this full moon near the belly. This is my pregnancy card. It's also an attachment to Queen Bee, no pun intended, but there is a relationship between this divine feminine and Queen Bee. Spirit is also acknowledging separation. And I've been saying that for a lot of our readings, uh, my readings, when it comes to those two spirits, that there's something else in the middle of the deck um spirit is acknowledging that there is an engagement something that we have not seen i'm not sure if they're engaged i'm not sure if they're married but spirit said that's something that we have not seen it's something we cannot see all right ddg current energy this year is going to be a pivotal year for them there's a lot that's going to happen in this year with them so just be on the lookout. Things are going to start happening really quickly and suddenly, almost like a flash. Spirit is acknowledging things are going to feel very, it feels almost chaotic, okay? All right, just happening so quickly. Someone is unprepared for the change that is to come. All right, so DDG, what are you hiding? Thank you. He's torn and could be torn between two different women because I do see a face of a female here. He could be torn or the female is torn, okay? Someone is getting a tarot reading on you and it feels like he needs to pay attention. He could be into it or his significant other whom he's torn about could be into it, but it feels like there are tarot readings that he or she is requesting on the other person. Um, and Spirit is also acknowledging in the middle of the deck, somebody has a lot of money and this is what you're hiding. Maybe you like that. She can afford a lot of things. Um, maybe it may, you know, it, uh, it compliments your lifestyle. Thank you, Spirit. Compliments your lifestyle, the things that you want. All right, DDG moving in love and light. Current energy. All right, Spirit is saying he has a bad reputation when it comes to his entrepreneurship. Um, there's a lack of focus now, and it almost feels like a boring job with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Swords. There's going to be some information coming out about his job, about his entrepreneurship. Um, there's some petty cop gossip, patience, and chattiness, and curiosity. There's some delayed news that he needed that's going to be coming out. And this is centered around his entrepreneurship as hey. well. Thank you, Spirit. In the middle of the deck, what we cannot see is that there is a wealthy family. So this person with children, 10 of pentacles earth sign energy and non-conformance when it comes to money but a lot of money is coming in it's inheritance is big money is long-term money okay um and that's, it feels like that's what he wanted all right so these cards as i was shuffling flip back over there's some delayed news uh petty gossip chattiness about this money about this big lump sum of money this money that's inherited this big money this wealthy family. Okay, so it says something else in the middle of the deck. He needs to be careful. Uh, his health, um, around the areas of his health, there are some shattered dreams. Like I said, it feels like things are going to happen very quickly within this year, sending him love and light. Um, and it's going to make him feel like he's underachieving in that regard, sending him love and light. What is the overall energy between DDG and Holly? Okay, there's a tower moment. And it just keeps saying that something is getting ready to happen. Radical change, disaster, major loss, chaos, pain, natural disaster. With the page of wands subconsciously, it's going to make him, once he goes through this, it's going to make him feel like he has energy again. Like he can do things again. Make him feel very childlike with new ideas and creative and cheerful even, okay, when it comes to her. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that in the middle of the deck, there is taking a break. Breaking down and not able to follow through with the ten of wands in the area of passion, but also in the area of business because he feels very overwhelmed okay what's next for ddg thank you 
All right, death endings, moving on, spiritual transformation, sudden changes, new beginnings, upheaval. This could be a literal death or this could be metaphorically um, just acknowledging like there's something that's going to be changing in his life and there ha it has to come to an end so that he can begin again, begin anew. All right, on the bottom of the deck, spirit is acknowledging that there is some manifestation. There is subconsciously someone trying to work their quote unquote magic, put their intentions out in order for this to happen, which is quite interesting. Um, and also this is layer because spirit is acknowledging that this is part of his doing too he's kind of manifesting and trying to figure out some things and some new ways some new directions to move now that this energy is coming to an end okay with the seven of wands there is some resistance to this energy there is some feeling like let's negotiate um having to stand your ground having to protect yourself having to be on defense but also saying you know how can we figure this out what can we do to make this work how does this work for me and for you this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.